This UAE plant is turning used cooking oil into biofuel. Dubai-based Luta Biofuels hopes its biodiesel will help boost sustainable transportation in one of the world's major oil-producing countries. We are seeking for a sustainable transportation in the UAE for now. And we are seeking for a mandatory blend similar to what we are having in the whole world. As the global race for the low-carbon fuel gathers pace, fuel made from vegetable oil and waste cooking oil are expected to play a central role in reducing greenhouse gas emissions in the transportation sector. Luta Biofuse says it collects 500,000 litres of used cooking oil every month and converts it into biodiesel and other products. The company says it produced over 770 tonnes of biofuel in 2023. CEO Yosef bin Said El Luta explains how it works. The mix of the biofuel is very easy. It's not a nuclear science. It's actually an oil. We mix it with methanol and potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide either. So uh, this is actually the mix based on the how much it has to be based on the free fatty acid percentage of the oil that we can put the mixture. The UAE seeks to reach net zero emissions by 2050. But in 2023, an independent research group said the country was far off track to meet its climate targets if it went ahead with plans to expand oil and gas production and use. That same year, the UAE government updated its targets including raising the share of clean energy in the UAE's total energy mix to 30 percent by 2030. Luta Biofuels is not the first company to turn cooking oil to power vehicles. In remote Australian outback, drivers are using cooking fat to charge their electric vehicles. And in this Californian plant, a plan was in place to turn used cooking oil, soybean oil and beef fat into renewable diesel. Paul Hellier is a professor of sustainable energy engineering at University of College London. A fuel like a biodiesel from waste cooking oil is a really useful tool for us right now to start reducing our carbon emissions. I think where there are those transport sectors where electric vehicles are going to take longer to be put into use, so like the heavy goods vehicles and aviation, I think we, we have an opportunity to develop a, a broader range of renewable fuels and mix those together.